Morning, everybody. I'm out here with uh, Paul. Morning. <laughs> For those in America, he just said morning. <laughs> anyway, we're out here on a on a uh, another permission. Uh, thankfully, it's not a plowed field, and it's uh, <clears throat> it's not full of cabbages. So, but uh, I just got this signal. Uh, he's still digging his way to China, but I just got this. I'm not sure quite what it is. I don't know if it's part of a clock, if it's part of an uh, anti-aircraft shell. Anti. 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 Uh, come on now, I've got, to, I've got to translate for the one person on the couch watching this right now. Um, so, I don't know. Any ideas? If you have an idea, let me know. Um, obviously, we're... Uh, we're on pasture, so that means that there are, there's no horses in this part of the field, but there are in other parts of the field. So just make sure that we uh, leave as little trace as possible. There you go, look at that. Like I was never there. Don't look at that. Anyway, uh, we'll get back to you when we find something else. Talk to you in a little bit, see ya, bye. All right. Well, that was ringing up weird. Musket ball. Or a pistol ball. I'm going to say it's a pistol ball because it's probably about a uh, 45 caliber. Very cool. No marks on it. No, no, I can see right now. That chalk is, uh, well, that dirt's really soft and clingy. So hopefully when we wash it off later on, we'll see something. Yeah, that's cool. I'll take that. Looks like it, I think. Oh, it's a very heavy... <clears throat> God, I should have brought a brush with me. What are you thinking, James? Uh, drop second time, third time. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. I should ask it one more water bottle and throw them all in it. Well, they say not to put copper coins. I in know, the but sometimes you just can't read the bloody stuff. That might be a shank. Uh -huh. It's a powder in it, the dirt. Yeah, it just... Like I said, I just can't believe it's this wet still. I mean, it hasn't rained over a week. You think with all the... Well, it just preserves the fines, doesn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. <clears throat> That's a coin. Look, I mean, it's got to be a coin. Look at the edge on that. Hmm. Watch it be a freaking stinking Lincoln. <coughs> One cent. I see GVD. It's a coin. That works. All right, let's keep looking. Okay, Paul's got either a coin or a button. Ooh. There we go again. What's that? Four home. Four. Hey, hey, wait a minute. We still have a maker's Four. name and, you know, as long as it doesn't say ideal button on it. Oh, that's a sharp intake of breath. Oh, I can't help you. I'm just filling them. Let us up with chalk. Oh. 
Don't know. That's a four hole. Yep. It's all right. Scrap bucket. That, what's that? Scrap bucket. No. Hush your mouth. Oh, look at that. That looks nice up there. Interesting here. I suspect it's now going to be a four hole button. Yes, it is. Four hole button. Strike it off the list. Hopefully it's got a uh, maker's name and town on it. <coughs> and not just uh, the ideal best. So, Scrap what? Scrap it. Scrap it? No, not only if it says ideal best, because, you know, that's like... <gasps> I can tell you one thing. Three or three cartridges of the other other pull tabs of the Kent fields. It's like in the States you find nothing but when you find nothing but 22 long rifle casings. Hate those things. Alright, we'll get back with you. <clears throat> Looks like I got a coin. And Paul thinks he's got a he might have a button. It's a what? Washer. Oh, it is? Damn. Golly, this mud, this mud here is a real clingy, isn't it? Oh, it is a washer, yeah. Oh, I don't know. There's a bit round it. I don't know. You have to clean up. Could be a Chinese clean, I know. I've got a... <laughs> I'm going to say this is probably a... Uh, well, I don't know. I really am surprised how damp... I mean, it's not raining in over a week. And this chalk is exceedingly... Fly, isn't it? Yeah. It's trying to make something out, I'm not sure. Oh. I think that's a head. Bloody hell. Uh, looks like it's going to be George V, I'm thinking. I don't know. That helped. Oh, jeez. Well, I can see something. It's a coin. It's a coin. That's all. It, it's a coin. Who cares, right? Of course, we all know that I'm hoping it's a, a Queen Victoria or a... Oh, I don't know. I'll get some shit off. We know it's not a sovereign. No, it's not a sovereign, <laughs> so we don't care, right? Um, I think it's a fifth. Either a fifth or a sixth, George the fifth or six. Rex, something Rex. Is the man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's probably a George. George, George five or six, I guess. I can't read. I can't tell. Of course, if it was an Edward the Eighth, yeah, one of only how many minted? Okay, so it's a coin. We'll work it. We'll uh, we'll go with that. All right, talk to you in a little bit. Is that copper? Well, you, you know, <laughs> that's that's a brass nail, isn't it? It's a big one. It's a big one. Which that's what she said. said. That looks like it's brass, though, isn't it? It's not lead. Snap. Yeah, that's brass. That's interesting. I mean, what, who would use a brass now? That they... We're far away from the ocean. Mm. Well, we're not that far, but we're far enough away where you wouldn't be building a boat here. It's rectangular <coughs> square. <laughs> so in the United States, anything after like 18, before 1810, it was true square nails. Mm. Then like 1810, 1820, Rectangular square nails, if that makes sense. 
So if it's the United States, right? Well, it's at least, you know, no earlier than, say, 1810. But it's brass. In my experience, in these hills, is the only people who are using brass nails are artillery. So from from the, from the exactly from the Napole the, the, the Napoleonic era. So maybe we're finding. I mean, it's a good enough spot. And you know, for ourselves, we found Napoleonic bullet uh, buttons that yep, way. Yeah, yep, exactly. So, and they had to be camped on, on all the high ground because you know I've, I was reading the reports where the British troops could see the French troops, see all their campfires. So they have to be dotted all over this place to, you know. All right, let's keep looking. I'm a mystery coin, it looks like. Thanks to the, uh, the chalk. <laughs> so, could be a button, but I'm not sure. I don't see a shank. Oh, it might be a shank guy right there in the middle. I'll just have to clean these up at the end and uh, take some photos. All right, let's keep looking. Looking up, what do I see? Paul smiling at me. Oh, that's pretty. Or is it tuna? I think it was a pendant. Very nice. What's this? Is it a razor thing? I have no idea. Something went in there. Something hinged in there. Looks like. Oh, I thought you were done. Look, you your brush is wet, dude. What the hell? Hey. Oh my god. Look, just because you brought the one from your bedroom, or from your bathroom. Bath. Bathroom. Ball. Who I say. That's Oh, let me see. something that used to screw in there. Yeah, but it's got it's a, quite it's got heavy. It, it's got a, it's brass, yeah. but it's got a hinge point right there. Oh. How 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 any, what's that? How weird. How weird, yeah. How weird. Was, was, how weird. <laughs> well, if anybody knows, please uh, comment below. Interesting. All right, let's keep looking. Interesting. I'm saying. I'm thinking this. This has probably not been plowed in <coughs> probably a hundred years. What do you think? Looks that way. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? But because it's chalk, stuff doesn't go that deep at all. So anyway, we'll keep looking. Talk to you in a little bit. It's one of those type of buttons. And this this clay is just kicking my butt. You know what I should do? I should break out one of my pieces of brass that I found. And use it as a scraping tool. I don't know, I can't tell. I got no clue. Man, look at this, it's thick. Freaking. Oh, so a couple days ago I was out here, at the bottle dump. The Royal Navy helicopter started circling the woods, I mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I think he probably thought I was an illegal. So the second time he came around, I waved at him, went back to digging. Probably wondering what the hell Sonny was doing in those woods. Oh well, yeah, thermal. Heather was wondering. Heather reckoned they were probably wondering what the hell I was doing well in the boots. But yeah. No. Is that sheep? No. Oh, they're all down there warmer. That'd be nice to think that. Oh, dude. Oh, and I'd even donate it all. 
you know, to, to whoever, National Trust, uh, English Heritage, have it all. I just want to dig it. You know, and ha have your have your have your 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 university archaeologist standing over my bloody shoulder. Just well, actually no, not standing on my shoulder. Stand three feet away. You know, because when cause I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> Our no. club's got permission with Historic England. Oh, those guys, yeah. I've seen they got the uh, website, right? Uh, the YouTube channel. They've done a couple of the schools in this area. We got, uh, they allowed one person from the club a day to go on at Richborough. Oh, really? Our club about 200 coins. Roman coins? Oh, that's brilliant. <coughs> That's brilliant. We were only allowed to protect the spoils that we're digging out. <clears throat> but they're not talking about the spoils half the time, are they? They're just... Oh, you, you, it's like you watch the original Time Team. I've not started watching the new stuff that's come out on YouTube. But I used to watch the old Time Team, and I remember seeing Anthony Robinson, you know, pinko commie that he is, and uh, who's, the, who's the guy with the, the white hair, Nick? Died. Died. Yeah, it died. Um, all the colourful shirts and everything. I like and Phil. I don't, Phil. Phil keeps going on. I think Phil must drink formaldehyde every day because he doesn't look any older. Oh, no, you are, you know. Oh, I can't read, no, I can't write, but I can't have to drive a tractor, that type of stuff. But um, <coughs> I remember one of the shows out in Norfolk and they were talking about how bad metal detectors were and blah, 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 blah. And then what happens? 10 years halfway into the show. They got a guy out there with a metal detector. And they say, oh, a metal detector has found all this stuff in this field, so we're here to discuss. Yeah, all right, yeah, it changes then, doesn't it? But, uh, you know, and, and for the, you sitting on the couch right now watching this, you have to excuse us here. You're in part of the conversation, and unfortunately, you just got to listen. We can't hear what you got to say. But, um, <clears throat> you know, that's what I like about the Paul Boyan Dixie scheme over here. You know, yeah, you got the college educated. Well, let's just say they went to college. I'm not going to say educated, but they went to college. They got their degree, the piece of paper on the wall they spent way too much money for. You know, but they realize that chances are they're not going to find everything or they'll tell the whole history of this place. It's people like you and I and all those other metal detectors across the globe who are going to find the shit. And knowing that we're not going to get chased off by some guy who's been to college and has an overpriced piece of paper on the wall, over here, metal detectors, plus it's the law, of course, you know, if it's gold and all that stuff, or bronze or, you know, ice age, whatever it is, ice age. Okay. Anyway, they've got, you know, you, 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 got, you get a stake in it. You get 50, if we were to find a golden hoard here of Viking stuff, not that there is, calm down. It, you know, 50-50. I guess you and I get 25% each. And you get 50, land only get 50%. I'm okay with that. Because it's something we didn't have at the beginning. You know, will I get to see that gold again? No, I'd have to probably have to pay a damn admission fee to see it at a museum, but... Well, that too, yeah. But anyway. All right, well, we'll quit yapping and uh, we'll get back to hunting. We've got about another... Uh, 75 yards that's 80 meters for you those of you in the United Kingdom until we get back to our bags and it's sandwich and water time and then I think we're gonna uh, quit this video and we'll start a new video in the woods easy tiger easy now <laughs> all right folks we'll talk to you in a little bit oh what we got So there's going to be another coin of, <laughs> another mystery coin. <coughs> another mystery coin. <laughs> well, I guess we, we're, I guess we're going to have a grand reveal at some point. Back at the house. I'll, uh, I'll clean these all off. All right, talk to you in a little bit. It's either a coin or a button. feeling like a button 
Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's the shank right there, the shank scar, but there is riding around. England! It actually says England on this one. England. About 1830s, 1840s, then. Now, the question is, does it have anything on the front? Hard to tell. Oh, boy, this chalk, I tell you. It says made in England. When's the last? Okay, so when did they start putting made in England on the back of a bloody button? I didn't know they started, mate. Well, it's just, it, I mean, it looks like an 18, I mean, but still, made in England. It's better than made in Taiwan, isn't it? Well, that's true, made in China or something like that, yeah, but still. I'll be interested to see if there's any more words on this. That's amazing, made in England. Look at that. Hopefully there's a design on the front, so there you go. Brilliant, let's keep looking. What was that sound you just made? Yeah. Oh, what if it? Oh, what if it's got coin in it? No, it's a pendant. Probably had a picture in it. Hey, I'll let you do the job. That way, if it breaks, it's your problem. Oh, <gasps> what is it then? I mean, what do they? I can't say. It's for a pulling a. Oh. Interesting. I thought it was a button at first. Yeah, yeah. or a pendant or something. Jeez. So, all right, let's keep looking. R-ring, what are we using an R-ring at? Is it in the holster? No, it's in the Oh, in the plate. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looks like we got a coin. Right there. Ooh. Farthing. For that size. Might be. This soil is not helping us today. I can't tell. It looks about the farthing size. Dropped for the second time in a hundred and God knows how many years. What you got? It's Britannia. Okay, that's a, that's a plus. At least we know it's English. Or British, to include those on the northern and western borders. Eighteen fifty two. There you go, yeah, eighteen fifty two right there. Or is that sixty two? Sixty two. Sixty two. So it's a Vicky. So it's 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 a uh it's a farthing, right? That size? Should be. Yeah, should be. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. Good job on the board. Woo! Yeah, so that's the coin taken off. Yeah, what's next? I got a bullet, so I got that taken off. Got that round ball. <coughs> you need a, a four hole button. We need a four hole button. We need a gold tom, a tom back, <laughs> but we need a gold sovereign. We need a gold stator. Hammer. A hammer. It is endless. I know, it is, isn't it? It's amazing. And we're, like I said, on this pasture, we're kind of like on the top of a hill. So I'm hoping that over here, as we get close to the top, we find ourselves on the flat part, suddenly find a whole bunch of, you know, um, Napoleonic camp stuff. Because even from e <clears throat> well, even from here, they had a good view. You can see the sea on a good day, I guess. We got some sea mist today, so it ain't gonna happen. But well done, good job. Thank you. All right, on to the next one. Well, I just dug this up. I was thinking it might be a hoe of some type. Um having a little difficulty finding the hole where the wooden shaft would have gone in. Um, would you like to definitely, uh, definitely you know, hoe? H-O-E. <laughs> yeah, but it's the same, isn't it, in America? <laughs> no, we use the word hoe, but not in that context. We use it in this context too. Yeah, come on now. Keep it PG-13. Um, 
yeah i'm trying not to dig iron but that did not sound like iron so well i'm gonna leave it up against this post and uh, i will come collect it later on because i'm not carrying that thing around all right let's keep looking well i'm actually walking over to show paul my mystery item and he is kind of doing a jig what do you find what did you get silver well it's a token right token how was it oh that's one of those german yeah, nice. coins and it's got the date right there it's got a coat of arms right there as i cover it up Oh, quick before we go we'll go back to that because that's it but what's the hell's this is that a bat wing is that a helmet it's on knight's helmet i got no idea if anybody knows let me know well let's get back to the important one because this is the oldest coin we've probably found today I'd say. Get it cleaned up. Yeah, somewhat, right? Get a date on it. Isn't the date on the other side? Yeah, is that the date right there? Is, that... is it one of those German, uh, uh, is it a, a, a fella? Is it, what are they called? Um, Thala. T H A L E R. I know you're rubbing it all off. 1802. 1802, 1702, 1602, I don't know. It's definitely an old coin, though. 1404. <clears throat> what? 1404. Oh, come on now. Now you're getting bordering on the dates of ridiculousness. <gasps> so, anyway, well, okay, we'll keep looking. Looks like, uh, <clears throat> is that 1608 or 1808? Nine. Oh, nine. 1808. Look. That's, a, that's an 1808. It's got lettering right there too. That's a cool find. Well done, mate. Well done. It looks like a V right there. Greek A and a V. I wonder if it's um well it might be older than or is that well, it says eight? something await. So it's either a 1608 or an 1808. Or is that? I don't know. Hold on. Good job. Good job. Coming around the final bend and Paul leaps to the lead. <laughs> not that we have a competition. No, right? no, 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 no. Some of us aren't that competitive. No, right? we aren't, are we at all? No, no, Paul. <laughs> are we, Paul? <laughs> no, James. <laughs> uh, all right, folks, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Definitely got some mystery metal going on here. I'd say it's a spoon, but it's awfully square. It probably is a spoon. Looks like the top probably got chopped off there, and then the actual spoon bowl got broken off. Very small spoon, though. Cool. All right, got our first flat button of the day. We don't think it'll be the last. If it is, I'll be very surprised. Cool. Well done, man. Good job. Okay. Got a button off the list. Got a button off the list. What's that green thing right there? That's pottery. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. That token, no, I found the navel button yesterday. Yeah? And it was in the same clump as a clay pipe stem. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it doesn't mean, you know, in it's a plow. Bit. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. So you can put them in display together. Oh, I've got to send you that uh amazon thing showing those uh display things like the one i gave you that i found them i ordered 10. yeah they come in a 10 pack right yeah i got them they come thursday so all my cat badges are in them isn't that awesome though you can <gasps> all right cool all right let's keep looking who has got something oh yeah i shot the sheriff but i didn't shoot the deputy that's interesting isn't it 
see anything on it? No, no. Uh, the Kent clay is making such a... The Kent chalk is making such a good job. I don't know what that is. Oh, does it say something? I don't know, one four six. Try it for the second time in <coughs> well, at least one day, I guess. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I have no idea. I mean you know what that almost looks like? <sighs> okay. What that almost looks like is off the cylinder of a toy gun. The part that comes out the back of the cylinder when you got 45 long cotton, you've got the rimmed cartridges and you oh, right. push out, you know, you push them out. What do you think that is? But it's got numbers on it. I don't know. Is it a seal? Is it like a... Well, this. Yeah, what's that? No, that's a washer of some type, but what the, the, the things on the ends kind of have me confused. Maybe... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mystery medals abound. Oh, it does. I've seen numbers now. 146, yeah. No clue. <clears throat> so, if you can hear a helicopter in the background, <coughs> Royal Navy and uh, Coast Guard, bless their heart, are out there watching for illegals coming across the channel. Now, of course, I think that we should have retired British soldiers out there with red coats and white pith helmets, martini henders, and 18-inch bandits prodding them back into the channel. But who am I? Well, they don't like it up and... <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Is it a horse bridle bit? Could be, or was it off a uh, Victorian soldier's shako? Shako. Shako, shako. Look, man, I'm not going to mince words with you, all right? That's what it goes here and it attaches to the bit. Could be, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's brilliant. Was it chain mail? No. I think it's funny how they're all, they're brass, Sorry. but they're all solid. That one's loose, almost like it broke. It's almost like they were welded. Yeah, very nice. Well done. What you got? Uh, I don't know. It's a banging signal now, so I'm going to dig it out right now. Ugh. Hopefully I've got it in the plug. If not, it's underneath the plug. It's in the plug. <clears throat> I'm gonna say it's a uh, 303. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, what is it? Ah, hello. It's a, uh, hang on. It's a butter knife blade, but Got the handle. Check it out. No. Yes. Look. What's the chance? What's the chances? There you go. Look at that. That fits. So we're missing now is the. So if that's there, that was there. I wonder if the, the rest of the handle's back that way. That's interesting. Look at that. Who would have thought, right? Very cool. Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea with a scoon and some some jam. Anyway, that's cool. Happy with that. Right, let's keep looking. Tell just fell off. Damn it. Part I of it. Some lead. Oh. I think there's lead. Your, your lead outweighs my lead. Oh, oh sheesh, look at that thing. That's good. Good recycle. Look at that. Of course. Nice horse. Yeah. Charge the light brigade. So sneaky over Oh, the horse just lost his tail as I was walking over here. So, that's cool. I like that. Why is he fighting the soldier in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may already have him in my pocket and not realize it. Cool. So, is it a jockey or is it one of those, the lifeguard band men, born with the drum? Boom, 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 boom. Could it be a caressier? Metal breastplate. Uh, no, there's buttons. There's a 
Where is that? He's a bandsman. You think he's a bandsman? I bet he is. <clears throat> got a moustache. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Good old Victorian <laughs> moustache. Interesting. You're getting quite a few soldiers on here. We're getting, getting some weird stuff. I mean, there's been a lot of activity along here. Again, starting it looks like in the 1700s, but maybe all the uh, maybe all the really old stuff is down in there. Oh, you know, I may have to wait till next time. Though. It's not going anywhere. Another great signal. But piece of lead. <laughs> Interesting. I got another signal off to my right. We'll see what that is too. Well, got another coin. No clue. This chalk is absolutely kicking our butts. But still, got a nice collection going along. Got some mystery items in there. I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what they are some point in the future I should have videoed this coming out the ground it was folded up and everything but just opened it up I'm trying to figure out what it is it's got two things right there and it's got one two three four I mean is it a horse tack or was it a woman's brooch was it a what do you call that? The, the Scots wear. Not is it the? Oh, no, it's not the kilt. It's the thing that goes over their shoulder. What is it? Like their their robe. No, the what? Sporran. No. Not the pouch. Anyway, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Clean it up and see what the design is. Maybe that will give something away. Or maybe not. All right. Let's keep looking. It is an absolute cracking signal. It'll be right there. <laughs> cracking signal for a piece of brass. Oi. That's it. See, I've been told that when you find flint like this, it's now turned white. It's been like that for millions of years or thousands of years I guess the question is what's a nodule like this doing so far away it's on a seam line interesting all right well let's keep looking brilliant just got a whopping signal. Out came this fancy butter knife. Very nice. Boy, they like their butter around here, don't they? <laughs> Ooh. All right, folks. Well, looks like we're gonna end this video here, <clears throat> unless I find something between here and where my sandwiches. Uh, today's not over for uh, Paul and I. We're actually gonna go bottle digging now attempt to anyway as the true amateurs that we are and um yeah hopefully uh that video will show after this one so uh wherever you are in the world happy hunting and good luck and uh, above all else uh be safe and of course obviously uh thanks for watching appreciate it if you stuck through to the end and uh from paul and i on this video any words of wisdom paul 
No? Okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> For the first time in his life, he's speechless. Makes a change. Makes a change, yeah. All right, so anyway, talk to you later, folks. Have a great day. See you. Bye.